wake up every morning at 4 a.m. Right after that, it's straight to my morning jogs. I usually run 15 miles, then start my meditation for two hours to get the mind ready for the day. <laughs> Come on, bruh. You really think I'm waking up at 4 a.m.? I woke up this morning at 7 a.m. My 13 mini had a good charge last night, all the way up to 100%, thanks to today's sponsor, Spigen, and their Arcfield Magnetic Wireless Charger. If you don't like playing around with cables and just want a simple MagSafe alternative, this is the way to go. I love it because for one, it's affordable, coming at $22 with a coupon code compared to Apple's MagSafe charger at $40. And it still charges my phone up perfectly overnight, which is why I have it. It's also compatible with all Spigen MagSafe series cases, as you can see right here, and strong enough not to fall off. If you guys are interested in the Spigen Arcfield Wireless Charger, I will have a link down in the description for you guys to check it out. And thanks again Spigen for sponsoring today's video. On my calendar list today, I have a few things to do, but not a lot. I have my usual team huddles meeting at 9 a.m. I have to head to the office, work on a few projects, including a telesponsor video that I have to do for Instagram. I have to grab lunch, collect my new camera from Best Buy, and maybe link up with my friends after work and then head home to finish up videos that I need to edit. So today you might be wondering, Siobhan, why are you reviewing the 13 mini in a day in the life again? And I'll explain soon, but as usual, Today, we have the typical morning stuff. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping and Let me talk in place and maybe see you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. I used my 13 mini this morning to call my Uber and I actually had to use the NFC feature to top up my Presta card, which I thought was pretty cool. For a Friday, honestly, today is not as busy as I expected, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity for me to bring out the 13 mini for a stroll. In my last 13 mini video, a lot of people were complaining that I used the phone too hard, so in this video, I'm going to use it like an quote unquote average person. I'm not going to use it too hard, no videos, no pictures, all of that stuff, no music. And also, I will be using 5G because I'm not feeling sorry for this device. During my Uber ride, I checked out a couple of my creator friends tele sponsor videos on Instagram and they were calling me out. So, I have to finish up my video as soon as I get to work. Yeah, I got to the train station at around 11am with 94% battery. Today, we're using 5G as I mentioned before, so the battery might cry, who knows. While waiting for the train, I did a couple of tweets, made a call to my manager. What we've accomplished so far as well. Exactly, so to look at Q3 accomplishments and look at Q4 goals. And also call my friend to see if there's any plans for tonight. I right, pre to the dog. Um, I have a studio session in the next morning. During my train ride, I was about to listen to some music, but then I forgot I lost my AirPods. Hopefully Apple releases AirPods 3 soon because yeah, I have no AirPods right now. So I just checked in on my email stuff, checked in with Instagram a little bit, checked also to see what's going on with Twitter and the new Apple Watch since the new Apple Watch was released today. And I also checked out my YouTube comments and TikTok until I got to Toronto. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Alright guys, we finally made it to Toronto. It's currently 12.48 right now. And for battery life, I have 64% battery life. If you guys can see it. So not bad so far since I left home at like 10. Alright, so I know some of you guys are saying, yo Siobhan, what's up with the pictures? If you guys want to see pictures of the iPhone 13 mini, I did a day in the life video as well with the 13 mini showing pictures and images this video is just like an average user so someone who's not gonna take pictures on a daily basis but yeah now i'm in toronto as i said before waiting for my next train to head to work it's not really a train it's a streetcar i'll show you guys soon but honestly guys this shop behind me looks nice you know take a look at it boom just gonna take a quick picture I'm just gonna take a quick picture at least please guys i, li I like to take pictures like it's in my nature so I'm just take that quick pic for you guys. You can see it. So you guys already know me. On my last streetcar ride to work, I just finished up my script for this video and also replied to some messages on social media, just like any normal person would. 
I also exported some pictures I took last night of my Apple Watch Series 7 to post onto Instagram and to Twitter and surprisingly it downloaded the pictures really fast thanks to those 5G speeds. I uploaded the pictures onto Instagram and wow, isn't Ruby Rose looking fine? Anyways, um, Instagram, where's my Apple Watch post? Okay, there it is. If you're watching this right now, go and comment on the this pose with green hearts for good luck. Okay guys, just got to work. It is currently 1.23 right now. And you guys saw me, light usage, 50% battery life. 52% battery life guys, 52. I didn't even do anything today. So 5G, 5G is really cooking this thing right now. But I told you guys, the 13 mini, it's, it's, it's just not as good. It's overhyped. I'm sorry. Change my mind. I settled in at the office and started to edit a couple of videos for work. And also I had to get out some social media posts for the Broadview Avenue group Instagram page. And also brainstorm ideas for next week. And of course I had the 13 mini in my work focus mode to avoid any distractions. So after editing for a couple minutes, my coworker sent me a video. So I basically had to edit a small Instagram slash TikTok walkthrough video. And I used the app called CapCut for it. It took a little chunk out of my battery life, but hey, it is what it is. The edit roughly took me around 10 minutes. I posted it on Instagram and also TikTok. Hopefully, it does well. All right, guys, it's now 2.40. As you guys can see, 2.40. We have 31% left on the 13 mini. Haven't really been using it too much, but I just finished up, wrapped up some edits. Now I have to take some pictures off this listing that just needs new pictures to go up on the um, website for like MLS and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see you there. Let's go. all right here we are so this is shot on the iphone 13 mini what do you guys think about this space do you think this is a good space this is the views outside here so yeah view i could put my desk set up right there probably i don't know or a tv yeah where would i put my desk set up all the lights up the spider light i don't know what kind of mechanism that is but and this is the bedroom i guess you get the tv with it i'm not sure small tv closet space in here as well you don't have your washer and dryer in your closet nice space in here to store like laundry stuff then of course you have the bathroom area right here okay so now we're going to take some pictures of this unit because it's going up for lease for 2100 a month so if you if you guys want to check it out make sure you check out the other youtube channel Broadview Avenue, that's where I post everything for my job. You guys keep asking me, yo, Siobhan, what job do you do? What job do you do? You can find out over on that YouTube channel. Okay, I just finished taking the images. We're gonna head back to work soon to edit that photo and all that. But remember, we have to pick up the camera from Best Buy. It's 351. Um, 23% battery life left on the 13 mini. It's not doing so bad. Hey, A7C right there. Put the place up. Right. We got it. Holy exposure, man. Put my face up. We got back to the office at around 4:40 p.m. I edited the pictures I just shot today so I could update the website listing photos, I uploaded them and sent them off to my team and hey, they actually liked it. Thumbs up. After that, we sat down to brainstorm for the Instagram story post that I had to do. So we just spoke about what we're going to do, what we're going to say, and then we finally went out to film. It was kind of raining, but it was also really fun even though I took a lot of takes, 
um but yeah we got it done it was like really planned out so it was super easy so if you guys want to see the finished video just go over to my instagram and check it out by the way this video was shot on my iphone 13 not the 13 mini so yes guys don't complain that i'm using the phone this was shot on the 13 not the 13 mini uh who'd have guessed it we're still at work my friend just called me he's about to pick me up soon who'd have thought i told you today is boring that's why it's the perfect day for the 13 mini let's quickly go over the battery life stuff right now i'm on my screen up right here hopefully so today how was today it's pretty good you know we did our errands i still haven't ate food i just woke up it was grinding so let's take a look at the battery life because that's the most important thing i'm sorry if it's echoing that's just how it is in my office um battery life let's see so the last 24 hours woke up 7 14 i kind of fell back asleep and then we got going around like at 10 so screen on time five hours i think that's lower than my last video that everyone was roasting so in my last video with the 13 mini we got eight hours screen on time and that was because i was using lte i took way more pictures i listened to music videos everything i use the phone so much more than i did today and today i am at five percent at seven last time my phone died at six with the 13 mini on lte so using 5g it's gonna take a hit i didn't use 5g all day today by the way i was at the office most of the time on wi-fi but as you can see five hours screen on time 41 minutes screen off and the most used app was instagram notion because that's what i used to write my script Home screen and lock screen, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Spotify, I didn't really use it. Let's go on activity to see the actual amount of time. So there we go. Instagram, 45 minutes today. Okay. Notion, 38 minutes. Home and lock screen, one or 21 minutes. I don't know what that what that is, why it's so much. YouTube, 32 minutes. TikTok, 15. Twitter, you guys said it just one minute of Spotify. I left my headphones, I didn't listen to music. Nine minutes on the camera. All right, so you guys see it. This is everything. Now, what do you think? Is the 13 mini still good? No. Is it still good? Five hours screen on time? I'm not sure about that one. Using L 5G. That's why you're buying this phone, right? You're buying this so you could use the 5G capabilities, all the new features, right? Why? Your battery life sucks. You have to walk around with a portable battery. I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. You have to walk around with a portable battery or the MagSafe backpack thing. Like, what's the point of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people keep saying, yo, you didn't use the phone well, blah, blah, you used the phone too hard. I still use the phone to its limited capacity. It still died. It's at 5%. Oh, it just went to 4. 4% and it's 7 p.m. Probably good for some people. They work 9 to 5, you know what I'm saying? They probably use it way less than I did but trust me today I literally did not use the phone that much but yes guys that's just my synopsis as I said before I'm waiting for my friend to come pick me up from work uh, I have to get food then we're just gonna head home and just charge this thing up get my sim card out of this thing and put it back into my beloved iPhone 13 Pro which is the best iPhone Apple released this year from about 7 19 pm i had around three percent battery left and there's not really much to do until my friend gets here so i was just texting people and looking on social media i kind of cheated and used my 13 because i didn't want to kill the battery on the 13 mini but now i'll just go live on youtube real quick and ask you guys a question if i should charge the phone or let it die finally my boy jp texted me around 8 pm just around that time the 13 mini died off on me which is kind of unfortunate but it's all good now we're just gonna grab some food i went to this spot called 876 jam rock and oh wait that food was blessed i got some barbecue chicken with rice and peas some coleslaw some nice pasta real jamaican stuff so yeah the food was good you just always have to appreciate some great jamaican food but now it's time to head home The 13 mini failed me today again with regular usage. It died around 8 p.m. and only gave me around five hours screen on time. 
So even if I used it hardcore and lightly, the 13 mini is just not for me, but I can see why a lot of people like it. It's small, it's lightweight, and very powerful. On my way in, I saw this package from Logitech, which I will be unboxing in my next video. But for now, let's just juice back up this little pocket rocket called the iPhone 13 mini. Okay, Google, turn off the lights.